Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Johnson and I am a learning support teacher at Juniata Elementary. Today we are working on this week lessons 31 and 32 for Number Worlds Level C. This is for week 32, which focuses on money. Okay, so there's different types of money and I'm sure you've all seen them before. And today we're gonna learn about three different coins and three different bills. Okay, so the first coin we're gonna learn about is a penny. A penny is worth one cent. We write that by putting a one and then a C with a line through it. That stands for cent. The cent sign goes after the number when talking about coins. The next coin we're going to talk about is a nickel. This is a nickel. A nickel is worth five cents. The next coin we're going to talk about is a dime. A dime is actually smaller than a nickel and a penny, but it's worth more. A dime is worth 10 cents. So those are the three coins we're going to learn about. Another coin that you might have seen is this coin. This coin is a quarter and it's worth 25 cents. We're not talking about this during the lessons, but in case you would see this, you will know it's worth 25 cents. Okay, back to the coins that we've already discussed. We're going to talk about how many pennies make a nickel. Well, if a penny is worth one cent, and a nickel is worth five cents. Let's see how many pennies we need to equal a nickel. Here's one cent, two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents. So five pennies equals one nickel. So if you had five pennies and your friend had one nickel, you would have the same amount of money. Now let's talk about how many pennies would be the same as one dime. Remember, a dime is worth 10 cents. So any guesses? Let's see if your guess is right. I have one penny, so it's one cent, two cents, three cents, four cents, five cents, six cents, seven cents, eight cents, nine cents, 10 cents. 10 pennies equals one dime. So once again, if you had 10 pennies, you could exchange it for one dime. This is the same amount of money. Now, there are coins and there are, are bills. Bills are the paper money that you see. Many of you probably know that this is the $1 bill. It has a one on it. So one $1 bill is worth 100 pennies. $1 bill is worth 100 cents. But we don't write 100 cents when we see the dollar bill. We write a dollar sign, which is an S with a line through it, before the coin or the bill. So that is $1.
Okay, so. This is our $1 bill. And luckily it has a one on it. This is a $5 bill. It has a five right here. And this is a $10 bill. It's worth $10. So these are very similar to our coins. $1 bill is similar to our penny. They're both worth one, but very different because the penny's worth one cent and the dollar's worth one dollar. The $5 bill is similar to our coin, the nickel. Five dollars, five cents. And the $10 bill is similar to what coin? If you said the dime, you're correct because it's 10 cents. Now, let's talk about how many $1 bills equals a $5 bill. Here's our $5 bill. Here's our $1 bill. Let's see, $1, $2, three $4, $5. So if you had five $1 bills, that is the same as one $5 bill. Now, let's see our $10 bill. Here's our $10 bill. Let's see how many $1 bills gets us to $10. We count by ones. One dollar, $2, $3, $4, $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10. So 10 $1 bills is the same as one $10 bill. These are the same. If you had 10 $1 bills, you could exchange them for a $10 bill. Or if something costs $10, you could pay with one $10 bill or 10 $1 bills. So let's review all the coins and monies that we learned about so far. I'm gonna put all the coins up here and the bills up here. And I want you to see when I point to them, if you remember what they're worth. Okay, what is this coin? If you said a penny, you are correct. And it is worth how much? One cent. What is this coin? You said a nickel. You are correct. And it is worth five cents. What is this coin? A dime. And it is worth 10 cents. Okay, what is this bill? This is the dollar bill and it is worth one dollar. This is the five dollar bill and it is worth five dollars. And finally, this is a ten dollar bill and it is worth ten dollars. That is the money we're going to learn today. If you have a chance and have some of these at your house, take a look at them. See if you can quiz people at your house if they know how much each coin or each bill is worth. Thank you.